Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB Spring Sale Haul. Uh, so I got a ton of stuff. Uh, I made a couple separate purchases. I went in store once specifically to get the tote as well as pick up something um, that was out of stock online. However, when I actually went in store, I ended up picking up something entirely different. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and get started and share with you uh, the goodies that I picked up during this sale. So the sale is now currently over, unfortunately, uh, but it will be back in the fall with a 20% off coupon as opposed to the 15% off. Um, but I did get a lot of stuff, so let's just get started. Uh, the thing that I went in store to purchase was something from Sunday Riley. Um, it was the schoolyard set or the school Sunday school set or something like that. I'll put a picture up here if I can find it. Um, but this is actually what I picked up instead because everything in that set was really, really small. Um, they actually had like um, a sampling of what was actually inside the box out in the very front of the store and that sort of made up my mind for me, made up my mind for me, so I'm really glad I went in store. Otherwise I would have been pretty disappointed with the sizes of those products. This however I'm very excited for. So I have a little sample of the Good Jeans, I'm sorry this set is the Total Transformation Kit, again the Power Couple set uh, with Good Jeans which is their lactic acid treatment and then their Luna Retinol uh, Sleeping Night Oil. Um, so I've tried a sample of this. I had, um, I think it was a hundred point perk and I took it with me for travel when I went to Utah and I fell in love with it. My skin fell in love with it. So I wanted to get a bigger size of it. And then, um, I also love oils and this one, I've heard really wonderful things about it. Had a sample of it for a while. I'm currently going through a sample of the UFO clarifying oil, which I'm probably going to have to pick up a full size of when I go through this one. Uh, but definitely excited for that from Sunday Riley. Something else that I picked up from Sunday Riley. Uh, I also had a sample of in a little foil packet when I was traveling, and that is the CEO C plus E Antioxidant Protect and Repair Moisturizer. Uh, this is what this guy looks like, if I can open it really quickly. But I really, really fell in love with, went in love with it. The consistency is a lot thicker than I had anticipated coming out of that foil packet, um, but I really, really do enjoy this cream, uh, and my skin also did as well. So that is the uh, second thing I picked up. A couple more skincare items that I picked up. Uh, I stocked up on a couple more of my all-time favorite sheet masks. These are the Primary Raw Do You Two-Step Face Therapy um, face masks. So they have two steps. One is, I believe, also lactic acid. A bit of a swab that you apply to your entire face that's focusing primarily on your problematic skin areas. Um, and then after that, you apply the actual face mask and let it sit on your face for, I think, 20 minutes. Uh, but this is a sheet mask that I actually notice diff a difference in my skin uh, after I take it off and uh, specifically the next morning. Love these. Definitely would um, uh, recommend them. They are $6 a piece, uh, but love, love, love those guys. Another skincare item, and I believe one of the last skincare items that I picked up was uh, the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. So this is the one ounce size. Um, Influencer sent me, uh, geez, six months ago? Oh my gosh, almost a year ago, actually. They sent me um, a little set with a small version of this uh, and a couple other things. And it, their sheer transformation cream and then uh, uh, something else new they were bringing out into their range. But I recently finished up a sample of that and really think um, my skin loved it and I noticed a difference. Uh, and I wanted something um, with less acids, like um, salicylic acid is in one of the one uh, serums that I'm using lately, and I wanted something without that for daytime, so I'm very excited to uh, get into that as well. All right, let's start with makeup. So one of the first things that I picked up uh, was a full size of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I got a little sample size of this in one of the winter or fall or winter Sephora favorite sets and have been in love with it. It is basically the only powder I use for setting my face now. Um, I dust it under my eyes. I use it with a sponge to apply in my T-zone area, and it also helps get rid of pores or minimize the look of pores on my uh, on the outer sides of my nose. Really have been loving that. Wanted to get a full size. Thought 15% off was a great reason to pick one up. All right, let's see. So I also picked up a couple of these guys. Um, so one of, uh, from Hourglass. So the first thing I picked up was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which has uh, dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. Um, primarily because I uh, found a YouTuber recently uh, who highly recommended this, as well as um, 
she has quite fair complexion and recommended using this for a uh, bronzer type shade and that is radiant light over here uh, but that is what the palette looks like i'm very very excited to get my hands into this i do have one other ambient lighting powder that uh, my mom actually gave me who is she's a little bit darker complexion than i am and i just didn't really find a good use for it. i believe the shade is mood light uh, and just look a little bit too pinky toned on my skin but um i might try to find a use for it yet um, another product that I picked up from Hourglass was their full-size ambient lighting powder in this shade Ethereal, or Ethereal, Ethereal Light, uh, Ethereal Light, that's what it is, I'm sorry, I was like, that doesn't sound right, Ethereal Light, uh, and this is what, again, the packaging looks like, and this is basically their white or opalescent shade, uh, and the same YouTuber that recommended that one also recommended this one as a setting powder for a fair toned gel, uh, so I'm very excited to uh, play with that. Uh, it might not get as much use now that we're going into the summer season. I might darken up a wee bit, um, but still very excited to have both of those in my collection. The next thing I picked up, uh, I actually had anticipated buying this with uh, my Ulta points when I did my big Ulta haul, um, but they were out of stock, unfortunately, uh, probably because they had a 20% off coupon going at the time. Um, but I picked up the new NARS Narcissist Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. So that is, it is quite reflective. Uh, that is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the actual uh, palette looks like as well. So it's a uh, gold, like reflective mirror packaging on the front. Very sturdy, black, almost rubberized uh, packaging for the whole rest of the palette. Of course, got that clear protective layer. And that is what the actual eyeshadow palette looks like. As you can see, I have not touched this yet. I'm very, very excited to. The warm colors just make me happy, makes me think of spring and summer. Um, this shade almost reminds me uh, of the peanut butter and jelly palette. Actually, this shade does as well. They're very warm toned, but there are some uh, cooler shades in here as well. But I'm very, very excited to play with this. I've never tried the NARS eyeshadow formula, but I've really become a big fan of the NARS brand in general lately. So that is another product that I picked up. All right, I think... This is the last one aside from some samples. Uh, so this, I actually stopped into my local JCPenney Sephora, which I had never been to before. It literally is a, a Sephora in a JCPenney. For some reason, I thought it was just going to be like a counter and there wasn't going to be a lot of uh, variety or uh, brands to choose from, but really it was a slightly smaller Sephora inside of JCPenney and it was right inside the front door. So I didn't have to go searching through my local mall to find it. Um, but I wanted to pick up this little guy, which was exclusive to JCPenney Sephora's. So that is the Sephora Favorites Blushing Beauty 6B Sampler with three full-size favorites. So I needed a new beauty blender, which is my number one reason for picking up the Sephora Favorites sets because they always have a full-size beauty blender, <laughs> $20 right there. Uh, and then I also wanted, have been wanting for quite a while to try NARS's Orgasm, which is another product that comes in this set. Not full-size, but a blush will last me ages. The Beauty Blender is full size, the Lancome Defensile, uh, Defensile High Definition Mascara in Black is full size, and uh, this eyeshadow from Urban Decay in Scratch is full size. I already have a full size from, I believe, last spring's uh, collection that came out. It was pretty in pink, I think, so I'll be giving this to one of my best friends. Um, but besides that, uh, let's see, so that I needed, that I wanted to try, that I wanted to try. I have an opal. Uh, Becca Opal Highlight. However, this one I'm going to depot and put into my uh, Travel Z palette. Uh, and then also this is a Tarte Lip Gloss, I believe, in the shade Obvi. Anyway, so that is what comes in this set, and I was very, very excited about that as well. You can never have too many beauty blenders. I really think those four favorite sets are great value for the money, especially with a 15% off coupon. All right, so the last couple things that I picked up, uh, well, first off, this happened. <laughs> uh, I think this is the earliest in a year that I've ever become a VIB Rouge or a Platinum and Burnt Ulta or anything like that. Uh, actually, no, I think that's inaccurate. This is the earliest I've become Rouge at Sephora. Actually, I've only become Rouge one other time at Sephora, and I believe it was after, I think it was in November or October of last year. But I became Sephora VIB Rouge again, and this is this year's product. I really preferred the makeup product that we got last year. It was a NARS blush. 
Um, but this is cute too. This is just, the, I guess, one of their most popular face brushes in 56.5 and is their Pro Mini Flawless Air Brush Brush. Uh, but that is what that little guy looks like. Very soft. Um, probably would be great for travel. Um, but that is this year's VIB Rouge gift. Some other things that I uh, got with some points. Um, I picked up two of these little guys when I went in stores as before. They were the Clinique Pep Start uh, um, Eye Cream. I am obsessed with this for during the daytime. Uh, I was really excited when I could uh, just use my points instead of paying for the full size. Uh, really do enjoy this. It's great for under makeup. I also wanted to pick up something else from the Clinique line. So it was the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Rush uh, Moisturizer with broad, spe broad spectrum SPF of 20. Uh, since we are going into the spring and summer sunny months, uh, I definitely need to be wearing more SPF in my daily routine, so I did pick up that as well. And I, the other point perk, the other ones are just sort of oil pack samples, but the other point perk that I picked up uh, was the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Love Sick. This is currently what I'm wearing on my lips. Um, I didn't really check. I thought it looked like more of a neutral shade. It is quite pink, um, but in this lighting, it doesn't look too bad. It does look uh, rather pretty with my cool toned uh, skin. But that is the last point perk that I picked up during the VIB sale. If you guys would like first impressions or reviews or have any questions about any of these products, please let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.